In this next example with triple integrals, what I do want to do is I want to go through and I want to sketch the region of integration. All right, so rather nasty, not really worried about the integrating part. I'm looking at the region that I'm integrating over. Here, what I have is I've broken your triple integral up into three parts. The dz part, the, DZ, the dy part, and the dx part. All right, so I'm going to have some limits on my z. Great, it's going to go from zero to whatever this is. So if we take a look at that, that's a function for z in terms of x and y. So we can go and we can let that be that. So here I have z is equal to the square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared. Perhaps I want to get this in familiar form, maybe one of our standard surfaces, quadric surfaces. Um, square both sides and get my x and y on one side. So then I have x squared plus y squared plus z squared is 9. Fine. Take a look at this. This is a sphere. Is it the entire sphere? No, it's only the top half because that was my original restriction on my limits of integration. So if I was going to draw the top half of a sphere, it would look a little something, something like this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's a nice one. All right. So now we're on the top half of a sphere. Perhaps that could be more round like a sphere. Now we'll see if we can get some more restrictions. Um, that was my function for z in terms of x and y. Continuing to tear this triple integral down, this is a function for y in terms of x. So let's look at that one. That's my green one. So then I have y is equal to the square root of 9 minus x squared. So looking at that right there, why don't I get it in a familiar form? My conic sections, if you will. So I square both sides and I find that x squared plus y squared is 9. Like you're saying, that's a circle in the xy plane. It's a circle in the xy plane, um, but only the top half because this restriction is the positive root. All right, so now I need to restrict my domain to just the top half of the circle in the x, y plane. So I need to get rid of all this. Get rid of all this. Get rid of all this. So now I have not the top half, a hemisphere. Now I have one quarter because I only have the positive x, y axis and the positive z axis. So if you took a, a ball, yeah, and you cut it in half and then you cut it in half, you only have this half right now, okay, if you're looking at it coming down the z axis. Let's keep on keeping on. Here I see I have some limits on x. My x's are going to go from 0 to 3. Fortunately for us, fortunately for us, this is a fourth of a sphere whose original radii was 3. So my x's are going to be bound between the two lines. x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3. Sure. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chop it here. Oh, I should go with parallel to the y-axis. So I'm going to chop it here. I'm going to chop it here. So what do we end up with? We end up with a, a sphere in the first octant. Or only one eighth of a sphere.